Hey, so I'm going to do a quick video on um, social media and how to incorporate that into your database or a strategy to do that. Now, I originally learned this from Lisa Archer in North Carolina, Never Ending Referrals talks about it, and yet I don't know that many people do this, and yet it's very powerful. So bear with me. I'm going to show you my screen and show you guys how to do this. And um, it's called the 555 method, right? So the first thing that you want to do is actually go into Facebook and that's not what I want to show you guys. One second. Let's just see if you share, if you see my desktop, if that will. Yes, so you should be able to see this. So when you go to Facebook and you have, right, like think about all the friends that you have on Facebook. And if I go to my friends, I've got 4733. Well, how do I actively create engagement with each one, with each one of those, right? So what I can do is I can put them in a friends list. And so, for instance, I'm going to use Hobie as an example. So, Hobie, I would go over here, and I'm going to, first off, from your computer, you can create a friends list and a good rule of thumb, and you can maybe even utilize the DTD2 method for you guys that know what I'm talking about there. It could be past clients, current class, current clients, other agents, sphere of influence, like, but create five main groups, right? And that way every day, whenever you start, right, like maybe 15 minutes before you start lead generating or 15 minutes after, you're going to go through your five, five, and five, and you're going to make, you're going to go through your five groups and you're going to make five comments, five likes or, you know, uh, using the other buttons, not just the like button. And then you're going to send five private messages. So what would that look like? So for instance, I'm going to use Hobie and he is in my database and I'm going to add him to um a list that i've created right so if i added to another list these are now i want you to ignore all of the you don't need this many lists every time i have a class or i teach somebody how to do this i tend to add another list <laughs> that don't don't be like me in this okay so um what i want you to do is let's say that he was a past and present client or past or present client and i wanted to make sure that i looked at those people's facebook feeds every day so i'm going to click on that now um, I'm going to close him up. Now, the cool part is, so you can do that from beginning to end. It's a little bit painful. I'll show you a trick at the end of this video that you can utilize that is a much better way of putting these people in a list so that it's more systematic and you're not like, well, who did I not and all that. So now we're going to go, okay, so this is just to show you what it looks like for those of you who've never done it. So every day, like you go to your and you pull up Facebook and this keeps you from being in Facebook for hours and hours and not actually accomplishing anything. So over here near the explore, you're going to hit see more and you're going to scroll down and you're going to have an option that says friends lists. You're going to click on that friends list and then you're going to choose again, you're only going to have five here. Ignore all of this, but let's so I'm going to click on past and present and past clients. Now I'm able to quickly look at the people in that list versus spending tons and tons of time. And we know with Facebook's algorithms, right, the more you communicate with them, the more they communicate with you this way, the more they go, they must be friends. Let's make sure they see each other's posts. So I would come through and I would go, um, I'm going to like their post. Um, he caught a really big fish yesterday. Maybe I comment if I'm a fisherman, you know, congrats, um, uh, that's awesome, you know, whatever, right? Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go through here, five comments, uh, five um, emojis, right? Five different people for comments, five different people for emojis, and then I'm gonna send five of these a private message. And that message could be, hey, just checking in on you, or it could be, um, hey, I thought you'd want to know this, or hey, how are you doing? I haven't talked to you in a while. Whatever it is, it's all fine. Five messages, five, ta or five emojis, and five comments. So it can be done very quickly, right? And then you can work through your three to five list of people that you've put in that friends list. 
Now, the last piece that I'm going to share with you is, and feel free, I'm going to post this on my Facebook page and things like that. Feel free, if you have questions, just ask them, call me, text me, email me, what, whatnot, I'll, I'll help. Um, and yet, so how do you, what's the best way to put, like, if you're like me and you have almost 5,000 Facebook friends, what's the best way to put them on a group or a friends list so that you can see their feeds? What you do is um, come over here and um, go to explore again, hmm. go to explore again and go to, we're looking for birthdays. Not sure why I'm being a, having a challenge finding those. Hold on, you're over here. I'm looking for, oh, events, sorry. So go over to the left-hand side. You've got under the explore, you might have to say see all. Then you go to events. And then you go to birthdays. So this is everybody's birthday in Facebook, right? Uh, well, your Facebook. Oh, no, Jonathan. So apparently I missed Jonathan's birthday today. I will make that up. He is an amazing guy. If you guys are looking for any referrals to um, Joplin, Missouri area, he is rocking it out. They've already closed 80 deals. They've got um, his own track right now, right on pace to do over 300 units this year. They are on fire. And okay, so, um, so what you could do is A, huh, wish him a happy birthday. Well, if you had a, a time period in your schedule, so like, let's say that, again, we're talking about systematizing this. So what if at the end of every month, you pulled up all of the birthdays and you could do a couple of things. One, maybe you make a list and you add them into the birthdays in your database. If you have a service like AM cards or, um, you know, maybe you set it up so they automatically get uh, birthday cards from you uh, from here until forever. You can do that through command as well. Um, the other piece, you could come in here and while I've got Jonathan, I come right here and I come over and I click on add him and I add him to whatever list that I want to make sure that he's on. So he is on my realtor list and he's on my personal friends list, right? And then I close it. Now he's going to show up when I do my Facebook feeds inside those two. And so you can go and see it takes very little time to do this and yet Again, I mean, you could spend months in here doing this. Don't do that. Do it either by the day for the birthdays or once a month, come in or once a week and set aside 20 or 30 minutes and start putting them in those categories, right? And that way it's systematized and then you just start pulling those Facebook friend lists to five comments, five likes, five posts. All right, I trust this was helpful. Again, any additional questions, anything, feel free uh, to reach out, um, uh, ask any questions, 318-372-2364. That's my cell number, my email address, coacholiviaroberts at gmail.com. It will be below this uh, recording. So if you need anything, reach out. I trust this was helpful and uh, good luck.